Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing two of the newer e.l.f. Studio products. They have been out for a little while, but they are some of the most recently added to the website. And that is, let me just get them and show you the names up close, but the e.l.f. Matte Eyeshadow and the e.l.f. Pigment Eyeshadow. And these are both $3 each from the e.l.f. website, eyeslivesface.com. And yeah, I just wanted to review them. And since they're sort of, you know, similar packaging, I figured I would just review them together. And if you don't know, this whole month I'm kind of making it e.l.f. month and I'm trying to review an e.l.f. product each day. But since I have more than 28 to review, I'm consolidating as much as possible. So today I'm going to be reviewing these two products. Okay, so as with all of my review videos, there will be pictures of swatches at the end, but let me just sort of show you the colors that I have. And there are a few more colors, but I only own four of each of these. So these are the matte eyeshadows first. This first one is Nude, Muted Mauve, Mint, and Burnt Brown. And my general verdict on these is that depending on the color they can be very good so for me at least today I am wearing these two nude and burnt brown I'm wearing nude as a highlight it's just a very nice matte cream color and then burnt brown is a nice sort of taupey brown I'm actually using it today on my eyebrows I don't know if you'll really be able to tell but I mean, it looks pretty dark in the pot, but it worked well for my eyebrows, I think because these are very, very sheer, which is why I don't really like the other two colors, because obviously you don't want this to be really, really noticeable, and this, I really like it either for my eyebrows or for shading in the crease, so it doesn't need to be a super bright color, but when you get colors like these, at least on my skin, the muted mauve color doesn't even show up, as you'll see in the swatches. And the mint color, it's just kind of, it's an okay color, but it doesn't show up extremely brightly, and you have to pack on a lot of it. So, for the ones that are sort of colored, my rating would be like a 6 or 7 out of 10. I don't really like them all that well. However, for these, for the nude and the burnt brown, I really, really like them. I would rate them a 9 out of 10. And yeah, I think that I would definitely recommend these two, especially if you wanted to try this for your brows because... Since it's a loose product, normally you get a lot more product on your brush with pigments, but if you sort of use, now I can't find one, but just if you use, oh here's one, an angled eyeliner brush, like this was the one that I used, it's actually from the e.l.f. mineral line I think, yeah, it's the e.l.f. eyeliner brush from their mineral line. And yeah, I just use this to do my eyebrows. You can pick up a little sort of dab it off on the back of your hand and you're good like to go. Them. I would definitely recommend them if this is the sort of thing you're looking for. And like I said, I especially like this one for shading in the crease. It's actually what I'm wearing in my crease today. And then this is a highlight as well. So now for the pigment eyeshadows. This one is Innocent Ivory. This one is Mystic Moss. This one is Passionate Purple. And again, there will be swatches at the end. I'm sorry these aren't showing up extremely well. And this last one is Magical Maroon. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is, if I can find it, you can't really see it in here, but I have it swatched here on my hand, so I'm, uh, you can't see it here either. But if any of you are familiar with Max, I believe it's called Pink Opal Pigment, where it's like a white with a pink duochrome. Actually, let me try something. Can you see in the lid there how that's pink? Yeah, so it has the pink duochrome effect, so I'm actually wearing that on like my inner tear duct area today, but I really, really think that this is a pretty unique color. I mean, obviously other companies have it as well, but I really like this color. And then Magical Moss, or Mystic Moss, is what I'm wearing all over my lid. And these other two I'm not wearing, however, I did use the Magical Maroon in a holiday look tutorial a while ago. So overall, I really, really like these. For basically all of them, as you can see here on my hand, this is swatched over a base because pigments tend to not show up so well unless they're over a base, but I mean obviously this white one is not going to show up incredibly vibrant, but these are very, very nicely pigmented. They go on very nicely. They're easy to blend, but they don't just blend away, which is a problem that I've found with some loose eyeshadow products so I would rate these 9 out of 10 for only three dollars and I recommend if you're gonna buy stuff from elf especially the studio minerals line don't buy them full price I bought these 
they were either 50% off or they were when they had the site-wide 55% off. But don't buy stuff full price from e.l.f. These, I mean, maybe they're worth $3, but if you know that you'll be able to get them for $150, just wait for that. But yeah, I really, really like these. I definitely recommend them. And one thing that I wanted to mention is these have a hard time coming through the sifter lid. Like, let me just show you. They have like a sifter top here. And normally when that happens to my eyeshadows, I will take like a hard surface and sort of, you know, drop them like this or hit them like this. With these, it's better to take them on like a hard vertical surface and hit them sideways like this. I don't know why, but that was like I found when I was hitting them like this no product was coming out when I hit them like this product came out so just something to keep in mind maybe if your product is having trouble getting out of the sifter lid so I hope that you all have enjoyed this and found it useful and I forgot to mention earlier for both of these products I haven't noticed any significant fading or creasing when I use them with a base but that that is one of the things that tends to vary with people's eyelids and the type of base that you're using so I can't say for sure that these won't crease but I for myself I have not noticed any significant fading or creasing with these so this has been my review of the elf studio pigment eyeshadows and matte eyeshadows I hope that you all have enjoyed this and found it useful somehow and I hope that you will continue to join me for the rest of my elf month and sort of going through this trying to put up a new elf video each day so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later bye